because we lose it. I just want to say that if I curse, forgive me. But we curse. We got God out here. There ain't no way I'm going to sit up here and let the truth be told and not curse. So they told me to watch my language. Fuck that. So y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. Y'all heard the curses. And it's bad out there. And it ain't pretty. So, you know, shit, let's be real. That's number one. My English is bad. I'm a high school dropout. You know, it's going to be real. I'm going to be talking like real shop. But I'm going to be talking from my heart. Ain't nothing real down. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. So y'all got to feel me. I'm going to be talking this way. So, you know, some of y'all might get lost. I'm sorry. But I'm going to just do what I got to do. And then check this out. When I say I'm losing it, I mean I'm losing. I mean that for real. This ain't no free speech. This shit ain't like just to make it sound good. So I can tell them into it. This ain't to make it so, ooh, he felt that. I'm losing. You feel me? I know y'all can pick up the papers to see that man got problems. And I do, but we all got problems. And mine is about my motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? He did tell y'all about my mama and the Panthers and all that. But let me tell you where I ended up, y'all. Let me tell you where I ended up. My mama was a crack addict. I ended up in Baltimore on welfare with no lights on in high school. So we got to really, 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 really win. Watch this struggle shit. If we don't struggle, we got struggle every motherfucking day till this shit is over. Let them know, bro. You know? Fuck that. All that shit that went on in the 60s ain't finna happen in this motherfucker. I'll be dropping some of you motherfuckers who need to make it beyond this year. Trust me when I tell you that shit. But I didn't believe it because they left my mama crack, I'm telling y'all the truth, as much as it hurt me, cracked out, homeless, no life, in Baltimore. And my mother put motherfucking work in. Do you hear me? My mama was a gun packing. Why I'm talking about for you, motherfucker, excuse me. But my mama put in work, you know, to be laid up in a room, cracked out. I, I got disdain for a lot of motherfuckers. You feel me? And that's why I'm telling y'all, I got to be serious. If we don't struggle, the struggle got to come from our heart. It can't come because we looked at you from a king back then. It got to come because I'm looking at you and you look goddamn and good to me and you my sister. And I ain't gonna let none of these crackers take you down. You feel me? It got to come from my heart. It got to come from my heart. It's like that. It's like that. It's hard out here. Like they say you got war. And in war, everything is good. It's all good. You feel me? And when I say I mean that shit, cause these white folks see us and stuff. I don't care what y'all think. I don't care if you think you a lawyer, if you a man, if you an African American, if you whatever the fuck you think you are. We done the niggas to these motherfuckers, you know. And until we own some shit, I'ma call it like it is. How you gonna be a man and we start? You know, and we and you can walk by five different houses and a man to either one of them motherfuckers. How we gonna be a man? How we gonna be African American? A motherfucker, I have nightmares. I mean this shit. I'm dead serious. And whoever I hurt, I, I apologize. But I have nightmares, y'all. I swear to God. Shit changed me. I used to be a cool mother. I used to be cool. I used to be happy. I used to talk good. I used to talk without cursing. I used to walk, you know. But goddamn, they done took Natasha. They done took Yousef. They taking out niggas younger than me, man. And we ain't doing shit. Nobody hurt and died 17 years fucking old. When we 17, you know what we doing? Killing each other. You know? You know that shit kills me, man. Little uh, Natasha got a bullet on the motherfucking back and ain't there one of y'all do a motherfucking thing. Uh, what the hell is this, man? Fuck the news down here. This shit bleeds me. All the reason I came is so I could curse at y'all and get y'all in the right motherfucking track. You dying. You are dying. That's real. We ain't got time for nothing except war. And I don't care how you got to be at war, you need to put yourself in that mind state so we can be there. If I got to thug to be at war, I'm going to be thugging. If you got to be a, a Muslim to be at war, be a Muslim, but be at motherfucking war, and let's go fucking shoulder to shoulder and start doing something. We can't do but so much marching, y'all. And I know y'all think it's right, but we can't. They not think we've been marching for damn near 100 years. <laughs> Because we by ourselves. 
You know what I'm saying? I got my ass beat by two white police officers, man, and it shook my whole world. I was a rapper. I had just did Juice. I, even though I was very progressive, my family been bad, I had, you know, I was really about just getting out there and making some money. I had had another problem. I thought I, I made it. I thought I made it. I swear to God, I thought I made it. I felt good about it. I felt good like I did something, like I was a part of this society, you know? And I always wanted to think for myself. And I said, okay, I'm here. I didn't get a move. I'm going to scream. I'm rapping. I'm trying. I got money in my pocket. I got bank account. I'm going to the bank. You know, I swear to God, on my mom, two police officers stopped me. What's your name? Tupac Shakur. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> they start laughing. What kind of name is that? Shit. What's your name? John. What fucking kind of name is that? You feel me? But I was wrong because these two niggas had guns. These two cops had guns and sticks and attitudes. So it, it so happened I jaywalked. I swear to y'all, I didn't even know what jaywalking was. I swear, I thought he meant that I was bopping. You know, like walking. I thought he said, Jay, don't look at He They stopped, two cops stopped me in front of my bed, hands up, talking about the whole routine for jaywalking. Not for coming out of the car with a gun. I wasn't strapped at all then. Now, I swear to God, you're going to find me strapped like a motherfucker and ready to shoot. And today I'm on this podium, tomorrow I'm going to be in the fucking times. Because they're going to have me. And y'all need to protect me and you need to protect your damn self. We can't do none of speeches, books, white witches, kitty cloth, X hats, potato chips, none of that shit. You need a motherfucking mini 14 or an M16 or something. You need to start getting off of some of these motherfucking traps. You know, and the reason I moved to Los Angeles is because I want to be where the niggas is kicking up dust at. You know, I don't want to be where these motherfuckers is building houses and think we got a part of this society. I want to be where niggas is kicking up dust at. So what if they got gangs, goddammit? They got gangs, but they kicking up dust. We oh, what the, what are we doing? Go ahead, Pop. What are we doing? I know y'all tripping off because it's like, hey, you know, you know, you know, you know. But like, we really ain't got no choice, you know, even though we, I know how you feel, I feel the same way, that's why I'm so angry, that's why I curse so much, you know, because I feel like it ain't right, it ain't right when I'm 22 and this is the life I gotta live, you know, it ain't right that I gotta be, I'm, I'm like a fucking bat, you know, I wake up, man, sweaty, man, so I'm on the top, what the fuck is going on? So the why he beat my ass, why police just beat the shit out of me, I woke up unconscious, man, my face all cut up with Jay motherfucking walking, that shit just shook me, I'll never be right again, I'm losing it. You feel me? Hey, hey, I'm out here rapping. I'm not even a cook. Hey, you know, a so-called cook. I'm out here rapping. What the hell's going on? Hey, I don't have no record, no nothing. As soon as I started rapping, this is what made me see me at war. As soon as I started rapping, as soon as I started talking that shit about they got me trapped, so the story, I don't give a fuck. It's like I got comments coming from everywhere. You know, I got cases coming from everywhere, man. People are supposed to be my fuck for King Queen. <laughs> she just told the police I beat her up. I ain't even touch her. You feel me? This is what I'm going, I'm losing it. This is what I'm telling y'all. I'm losing it. It ain't all cool. So when you see me in the paper, they're going to go, damn, what's wrong with it? You know, hey, it's hard out there. It's hard out there, and it's even harder for a nigga by itself. When I go home, I go home by my motherfucking self. When I close the door, it's by my motherfucking self. You feel me? It's time for some soldier shit. You know, from the females and from the males. That's, that's real. And it's time for the women. I'm not blaming on you. I'm not putting you in your corner, but you, you have so much you don't know. You have so much power over us niggas. You run shit. But you just don't know it. And it's a game. I know the man, I'm gonna hit y'all to the game. When a nigga sees that you do anything for him, he's gonna run you. Yeah. But if you keep your principles, if you stay in your ground, you know what you want, you know what you want out of that nigga, you push that or leave that. Trust me, it ain't no shortage of young black men. If you think, you know. That's how we gotta handle that. You know, we gotta handle that shit. We got more like down for each other. You know, I know we're not supposed to use the term, the term gangster bitch, but damn, we got to be down for each other. You know, we got to be soldiers, man. They gonna be fighting about us in 20 years. You know, it's, it's that time, y'all. It's that time. 
in the 90s. And you know what the 90s is upside down? The fucking 60s. You know what I'm saying? We're going to turn this shit upside down all over again. And we the ones that got the power to do it. Did you see what happened on April 29th? Y'all ain't see that shit? Wanna lose this shit? They fight with hey, What the fuck is shit up in that lane? I was there. I was there with a movie getting paid G's, but that night, I was there. I was in the streets with my folks. Niggas had their, I don't care what they say about gangbangers and all that. Niggas had their motherfucking dogs up, and it was all good. Whatever, say, I, I, I'm telling you, man, this is the fight I'm keeping my picture. This picture I'm keeping my mind till it happened again. Because I've seen it for myself, and I know it can happen. And all my life, I never thought it could happen. But I've seen it for myself. I was there. And you know what made it happen? War, a common enemy. That's right. We was fighting a common enemy, right. so it was like, what's up? Right. And that's what we need now. As right. long as we sit here and study for the common, we study in the fight. Man! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are studying to fight. Getting ready to fight. And we're doing all our fighting. Now, nothing's wrong with going to class, but I tell you, I'm proud of this, but we're doing all our fighting and debates. We debate this shit. We debate for our freedom. <laughs> we ain't gonna get it in no legislation. We ain't gonna get it through marching. We ain't even gonna get it through one rock, one uprising. We not gonna get it through one April 29th. We gonna get it in every day you guys, all of us, everywhere, see it as a necessity that we struggle to fight that. We have that as a right. That is our right when we were born. God put it to your heart to self to be your motherfucking self. Fuck the next nigga, you know? If that nigga wanna be a gangbanger, he don't wanna follow your way, fuck that nigga. Trust me, he's out of there. He's out of there. But you have, you have obligations to your folks, to the niggas that fell before you, you have to handle your motherfucking business, no matter what it means. If it, all of it ain't gonna be pretty, all of it ain't gonna be out there with M May 14. Some of that shit gonna be staying your ass home with the kids. Put some knowledge in your kid's head. You know what I'm saying? All the niggas and all the females. Just because she a female don't mean she got to stay home with the babies. That's bullshit. Because I would much rather have some of you females out there with me in the world than some of you yeah. niggas. It's a whole bunch of punks. You know? That, that whole our city of we African Americans, everything is equal shit, and it's not NAACP shit. I'm gonna speak on that shit. That's up. Because I was reading the paper, I saw the NAACP at a, a, a celebration for the uh, Emancipation Proclamation. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Okay. So, from what I just said, how is the NAACP still a business? How's the NAACP still in business? How's these motherfuckers still in business? Why you all Yeah, that's cool too. That's cool too. Yeah, we let them do that shit. Yeah. We let them represent us. Yeah. How motherfuckers gonna stand there and talk about you for the advance of the colored folks? Go ahead. Right. What the fuck is that? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, right. They need to be grown black folks. They be our cut. Represent us to these white folks. And we be letting them do it. Because we proud. Because they got all the suits, they got offices and shit. Go ahead. And everything that happened, they call the NAACP. <laughs> Go ahead. And we let them do that shit, represent us. You know, they make us look bad. Really? Yes, we, we really are too, uh, I, I'm not trying to take up for the thugs and the gangsters and shit, but now I, I'm coming from a different school. I'm coming from the Panthers, and that's what they did. Yes. They went to the, to, the, to the street element, and that's what they mobilized the soldiers. You know, that's what my mama did. That's my job. I'm going to stay in the streets and get my thug niggas who was down for me in the streets. Because I'm going to tell you, when my mama started cracking and I was by myself, this brother right here, well, I'm trying to tie him with the only person in this movement anywhere that took care of me, okay? So there ain't no motherfucking struggle that we don't take care of your babies. Not just yours, but the other soldiers, you know? What about that? What about all these soldiers sitting in jail? Where they kids at? Don't none of you motherfuckers give a fuck about them. Ready to carry a flag on where they shut. You ain't taking care of their motherfucking kids or they, or they babies. That's hypocritical. That ain't right. That's right. That shit ain't right, man. We got too many kids out here with no, nobody to put nothing in their head. Then you motherfuckers get mad when you see him again up in the courtroom. Yeah. You know? So my wife raped her. Right. Nigga, you left him by himself. Yeah. yeah. Left him by his motherfucking self. Yeah. So he learned how to be a G from the crackers, and that's what he learned. He learned how they want him to be. That's right. Nobody, nobody taught me shit. And my mama was a parent, you know? My mama would tell me, but she was too involved in it to sit down and really explain shit to me, you know? So it's, it's a double tragedy because 
I'm like damn near forced to go through some of the shit that some of these soldiers went through, but because they didn't tell right. the new generation, right. they didn't arm us, right. I got to go through the shit all over again. Yes. Right. You know, I'm still getting my ass kicked by police because the niggas back in the 60s been murdered every single one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, they want to be down with the police department. How can I see, how the fuck can a nigga put on a police uniform in 1993? In 1993, the gang elements are arms, and they all back. As much as you want to think they dumb or whatever, they on their toes this motherfucking year. They on their toes, and they ready to move. What are you ready to do? How you gonna handle it? Huh? When them niggas get out there with guns, what y'all gonna be doing? Watching that shit on TV? Marching? Singing? <laughs> selling raffle tickets and shit from the church? What y'all gonna be doing? I just wanna know, because I know what the fuck I'm gonna be doing, but... It would, it would help me to know what my people was going to be doing when I'm out there. Because my mama tell me all the time, boy, you think you're going to save the world. Don't you know they're going to kill your black ass, these people going to bother you, and that's that. Get your back, baby. So all I want to say in closing is that we got to be united under whatever. Whatever. Don't let shit hold us apart. I don't care if you're from Cali, New York, or whatever. If you're a blood, or a crip, or a thug, or a school student, or a scholar, or whatever. Don't let shit hold us back no more. We got to unite by any means necessary, and we got to fight.